Welcome back to the Clock Shop. This is Jim with J.R. Clocker on eBay. Let's see what happened at the Clock Shop this week. Okay, black box opening. Uh, I've unlocked the boxes. Now let's just see what's inside. I didn't pack them, so I don't know. You're going to know when I know. Oh, we have cuckoo clocks. Uh... And it looks like a lot of cuckoo clocks. Um, let me just move this box a little bit so I can open this door. Okay. Yeah. So we have some, looks like a uh, bird on nest. Um, oh, let me see this. I don't want to lose that one. Looks like we've already lost the little mouthpiece put this lock down There's something down here I don't know what that is let me look at it cuckoo clock cuckoo clock cuckoo clock uh, this one has its weights in it uh, that looks like a cuckoo clock too that looks like the pendulum for that one uh, we'll have to go through them and see what's going on. Okay, we've moved that one over here. Now, let's open this one. And holy moly, yeah, we have cuckoo clocks. And I was just talking to Jeff. And he said that, yeah, they backed a lot of cuckoo clocks in these black boxes. So, um... Yeah, let me put this lock down. <coughs> Move this out a little bit. Excuse me. Okay. Um, ooh, though, these are more interesting to the clock. Uh, anybody need a bellow top? Holy moly. Um, See, this is, sometimes you got to take the good with the bad with the ugly, and that's what this is. Looks like there's a couple of railroad uh, cuckoo clocks down here. What they call railroad, uh, just because of these tracks right here. And uh, it picked up the nickname. From what I understand, anyway, there's some nice, there's some nice, uh, that work along the edges here. The top fret is missing. That's the thing. And uh, of course, the uh, oh, Jeff, Jeff just brought me some more bellows. Man, we got a lot of bellows. Clean ones, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we're in a warehouse today looking around for some stuff to list on eBay. Uh, oh, that came out easy. Um, and unfortunately, the case, the cases are really bad shape. And, um, but the uh, the movements are decent. Uh, I believe that's been replaced. It's supposed to have a uh, animated bird. And it looks like it's a classic bird on there, and that's a thing. Anyway, so those that uh, can be repaired will be repaired. Those can, that can, you know, within reason. And those that uh, can't be, like, look at that's all busted up. This one's all busted up. Um, we'll uh, take it apart. We'll check that music box. Uh, we'll look at the, the movement, the bellows, uh, uh, the tubes, everything. And we will make a decision how we, how we want to break it up. You know, this is a, these are nice pendulums. You know, it looks like the hands are broken. It's a shame because some of these are bone hands. Who else is in here? Some backs, lots of backs. And, 
one finial. Oh, you have some uh, one fret work. You know, you, you can't, and that does have the animated bird in it, so we'll saw that. You know, it's a shame, but this is the way we find them. And, uh, try to save whatever whatever we can save there's a lot of uh, like novelty ones down there. anything else noteworthy in here I'll investigate that a little bit. We'll put that aside. 